Dear all, in this session, I am going to discuss sinusoidal pulse width modulation. In the previous session, I have discussed what do we mean by single pulse width modulation, multiple pulse width modulation, etc. So I request you to go through those pre previous video to have a better understanding of this particular video. So first of all, we'll understand what's the meaning of sinusoidal pulse width modulation. Uh, it is a widely used technique which is used in the inverter, uh, which is used to generate AC output voltage from the DC source uh, the waveform that is very close or similar to the sine wave, which is required for the utility applications. Uh, like uh, Unlike single pulse width modulation, uh, which generate only one pulse per half cycle, uh, in sinusoidal pulse width modulation technique, we are going to generate multiple pulses in each half cycle so that harmonic content will be minimized. Moreover, uh, like uh, the output waveform will be almost similar to that of sine wave. So we, we, we are going to take sine wave as a reference. Moreover, uh, we are ensuring the smoother output compared to other techniques. That is a peculiarity of sinusoidal pulse width modulation. Okay, so moving further, so we will discuss further about sinusoidal pulse width modulation. So here you can see uh, in this method, several pulses per half cycles are used. Okay, uh, and also like a sinusoidal signal as a reference. So the reference signal we will be considering as the frequency that is FR. Okay, so if you take the ratio of the reference signal voltage and the carrier signal voltage, that is called the modulation index. Also, like uh, the frequency of carrier signal, that is called the FC. So remember that the frequency of carrier, so that is FR, will be always less than FC. So here FR will be taken as sinusoidal waveform. Correct. So these are the basic information. So that is the elaboration of the first slide. Now the exact picture will come to know. So we have like a triangular carrier signal, which is having very high frequency. You can see number of cycles per second is very, very high. Or each half cycle, you can observe more number of cycles per second will be taken place for a triangular signal. So you can observe the reference signal as the sine wave. Its frequency is very less. Okay. So comparing these two signals, what you are going to generate, you are going to generate the pulses for each half cycle here. Uh, this is your positive half cycle where this will be the negative half cycle uh, here the thing is you are comparing uh, the reference signal or modulating signal with respect to the carrier signal carrier signal is having high frequency signal where modulating signal is low frequency signal then you are going to fed with a comparator so this will be the output of the comparator all right the pulses pattern will be like a, a more number of cycles each at each half cycle that is another peculiarity which you can observe so uh, the basically the reference signal that is sine wave that is co comparing with the, the carrier signal that is triangular wave then you are going to generate the pulses that is the peculiarity uh, the modulation index is nothing but the ratio of uh, the reference signal to the carrier signal okay that means the vr to the uh, vc you are able to get the modulation index okay so using the modulation index you can control the output voltage modulation index is directly proportional to the output voltage that is another peculiarity you have to observe uh, moreover uh, the most important thing you are supposed to remember that there is a reduction in the harmonic distortion because more number of cycles per second will be generated for each pulses more number of pulses okay at each cycle you can observe more number of pulses will be generated therefore uh, the you know, lower order harmonic presence can be minimized. But there are some harmonic content which you can easily filter out by using the LPF, flow pass filter. The design of flow pass filter is not so difficult. We can manage it. The plus point of uh, the, uh, the sinusoidal pulse width modulations are reduced harmonic distortion. Moreover, efficient power conversion. The waveform will be almost closer to the sinusoidal waveform which is required for the, uh, the general applications. The smooth voltage control. By controlling the modulation index, we can easily control the output voltage. These are the three important advantages of sinusoidal pulse width modulation. While uh, we, can, we have to consider the application, especially AC motor drives, then the renewable power gen generation system for wind power conversion, solar power conversion, we are going to use. For grid interfacing, we will be using uh, this type of inverter. Then UPS, uninterruptible power supply. Okay, so because we are using the like a clean output to output AC waveform, it is very sensitive to the electronic equipments. Then heating, ventilation, and cooling system, especially for compressors, fan, uh, efficient like uh, efficient AC power system, etc. We can uh, easily utilize uh, this sinusoidal pulse width modulation. So in this session, I discussed about what is the meaning of 
sinusoidal pulse width modulation. How you are going to generate the pulses in the case of sinusoidal pulse width modulation. Also, I discussed the significance of modulation index. Uh, apart from that, I have listed out the pros of a sinusoidal pulse width modulation, especially the harmonic min minimization and the convenient output waveforms. Uh, while uh, coming to the application, we have enlisted almost four important applications in the domain of renewable energy sources, uh, the motor drives and UPS and heating, ventilation and cooling system. So you kindly go through the slides. If you have any uh, clarification required, I request you to put up in the comment box. So it is very easy to revert. So uh, these are the most important points which you are you are right in the exam point of view. Even it will be helpful for Viva point also. So I request you to go through the slide once again and you can make by your own notes. Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy learning and have a great day. So I wish you all the very best for your